is up guys so we're gonna be opening up the uh, battle brawlers card collection here uh, last time we did an opening or rather a voiceover opening of um, the dragonoid version uh, but this time we actually got the Hydrus version here so there are different versions you can get I believe there are three types you can get uh, dragonoid you can get Hydrus and you could also get Nilius as well uh, which we'll be getting the uh, deluxe collectors pack uh, soon uh, but of course I figure I might as well also do a bonus of uh, Hydrus as well in the aqua single pack here these are very expensive by the way they're twelve dollars each and um you know it's just really unfortunate but uh you just got to get everything and as a collector myself i'm going to try and uh, get whatever i can here so yep so right now um if you're actually interested in the actual card game itself where you're playing a full deck of 40 cards uh you will definitely want booster packs uh single booster packs at stores cost seven dollars here in australia very expensive um i recommend you buy this instead basically this is 19 dollars, and you are getting three booster packs and it's the exact same booster packs as the individual single ones and you're also getting a few bonuses here with two backer cores as well definitely good value in this so buy as many of these as possible do not buy single packs at the stores they're currently seven dollars Whereas you're getting three here, plus Baku cores, plus a special card as well, and you're only paying $19, which I think is a lot better. Um, so we'll probably open up this first, and then we'll open up the Baku gun itself. Alright, so over here we have uh, firstly the Hydrus Ultra, which is definitely very nice, uh, giant card itself. So that's very cool. I wish they had given us a smaller version of the card as well as a playable version. But you know what? It's fine. We're getting the Hydrus right here, so I don't mind at all. But uh, these, if you guys are actually wondering about the size of this, it's the exact same size as one of the uh, Pokemon Giant cards as well. So good to know um, if you guys actually want um, proper sleeves for these giant cards. I'm sure they actually sell them out there because uh, I figure people actually collect these as well. And uh, together with the Pokemon cards, it's definitely something that's very fun. If you look at the back over here, you can actually see the card itself as well. Uh, it's just a nice character card to actually go with here. Um, we also get the two back cores, very nice. Uh, these are the two shield ones. Um, at the back here, it has different, uh, you know, effects for your different cards and everything like that of course right here we have the official trading card game rule book so uh this one is definitely more sophisticated because you're actually focusing on the card game itself whereas the ones you get in the battle packs they don't really explain the rules at all for this they're explaining the more simplistic version the one that doesn't require us to have cards uh but of course here's our three booster packs um these booster packs are called Battle Brawlers, so I believe that's the set name. Um, as a result, uh, the code for most of the cards says BB, which I assume stands for Battle Brawlers. So I guess once uh, a set that continues after this, that follows after this, uh, will actually have a different code name for it. So yeah, for now, this is just the first booster, so... I recommend you buy as many boosters as possible if you're trying to get into the game because these booster cards, uh, these booster packs will actually give you so many cards to actually just start off with the game here. So uh, let's take this out and see what we get. So last time I was a little more clueless about what we actually got, but this time uh, I do know what we're actually getting here. There's different types of rarities, but in each pack you are always going to get uh, two rares and you're also going to be guaranteed to get at least one super rare so Overall, that's a hollow pack. So if you guys want to feel better about that, then sure uh, Depending on what these hollows are actually worth or these foil cards are actually worth uh, Paying seven dollars per pack might be a lot more worth it than the likes of other types of uh, card games So we have uh, ice elation um, Oops, sorry about that we have our uh, Holt Outsiders, two of these, which is, oh, Holt Unknown, so that's two different kinds of cards. Uh, Turn to Energy, uh, Icicle, Ventus Moonbeam, uh, Hyper Pegatrix, which is definitely very nice. And as you can feel, there's a slightly um, 
it's like it's been bumped up a bit so you could actually feel it here and basically the whole card itself looks like um, a regular common card but overall um, you feel it and you could tell it's a rare also right here let me just zoom up um, or not zoom up but focus uh, it says RA RA stands for rare uh, whereas if you take a common card, you could actually see it says CO, which uh, represents common. If you have a super, then it says SR. If you have uh, any other types of rarities, um, you'll get to it soon. So let's see. Here we have a uh, Hyper Serpentine's uh, Serpentes Ultra. So this is also a rare. Um, but of course, this is a hollowed version of it. So you, I think you still feel the bump. Um, but over here, oh nice, we actually got a hero card, so AR, um, I don't remember what AR stands for, uh, but this one is definitely nice, uh, hero cards are definitely quite nice here, um, so yeah, that's pretty cool to get, uh, Shun Kazami, uh, we also have, lastly, um, Consort, so Consort is also a rare however this is a hex so hex is like a special printing which looks like this it also comes in an ordinary rare form as well however hex cards are just a slightly more rarer version of the card itself this version is a hex version if you had the consort uh, rare version of the card then um, that's a completely different value on things as well so yeah uh, let's see so we'll put these aside here I believe as part of our rares and these over here are just commons so let's move on to the next pack and see what else we can get All right. one thing I have to say about the particular cards itself um, they are very fragile and you got to take care of these cards definitely recommend you buy sleeve these cards are standard size so I uh, recommend you immediately buy standard size sleeves and sleeve them up because they do damage your cards uh, very easily here. Uh, block growth, uh, prismatic bolt, fiery rage, um, let's see, razor wings, uh, whiteout, uh, still common. Nice, so we have a Titan Hellcore Ultra, so this is a rare as you can see down there. Um, so, yep, you can feel it up there as well. Uh, you also have a Hyper Serpentis Ultra. Uh, you also have a Revitalize. Um, so, yep, there we go. So, this is an SR or Super Rare. And, uh, yeah, this is, as you can see, there's different type of uh, art to it and the text and everything like that. The card design's all different. And, of course, we have, nice, a Hyper Nilius. Wow, this is very nice. Um... So as you can see, this is a rare, but it's also a hex. So it's just a slightly rarer version of the card. And you have this hex pattern here, so it's definitely very nice. Uh, kind of like the whole honeycomb look to it. Uh, so yeah, let's move on to the final pack here and uh, see what else we can get. All right, get this opened up. Okay, so... Just putting it close up. I'm sorry for the whole blurring thing. Uh, I had a friend mess up my camera, so I don't know how to really fix it. Just got to do trial and error here. Uh, Oaken Shield, Fierce Boost, uh, Paralyzing Potion, Luminous Armor, uh, Pyro Strike. Uh, I've been seeing this a lot lately, but the thing is you want to get at least the playset of these cards, which would be very nice. Pandox Punch. Uh, another hype, uh, Hyper Nilius. So the, here's the regular version. It just says rare. And as you can see, the it, it doesn't really look like anything with no patterns or anything. You still feel the name here, so you can tell it's a rare. But of course, a hex version is just a slightly more rare version of the uh, regular version of it. So still very nice, though. Um, we have Inferno, which is also a rare right here. Uh, we have over here our super rare is uh, Tiger Reflex, as you can see represented by the SR. And we have, oh my god, nice, nice. So this is uh, a really special version of it. Uh, BE is one of the highest ones that you can actually get. And as a hex version as well, it's very uh, sp specific as well. I believe this is called a Bakugan Elite card. Uh, 
as stated by the BE, but these Elite cards are actually one of the highest rarities you can get, and as a Hex version, uh, this is definitely a very, very, very uh, valuable card. So if you pull it, it's one of the better cards you can actually get in the set here. So if you're comparing it to other card games, uh, this is something that you want to see um, very nice indeed. So I'm very glad we actually pulled that. Uh, but of course, that's all the packs there. So now let's actually move on to the actual uh, Hydrus himself. So that'll be pretty cool. Uh, but very happy about those pulls, um, especially the Hypernilius. But of course, this whole pack is meant to focus on, or this hope opening here is meant to focus on um, Hydrus. So let's actually get him opened up. Alright, so over here um, we get our Hydrus itself, but of course uh, we have to go over different things as well. So right over here we have our character card for Hydrus. Um, they give us three different versions. Typically it's meant to be for the different languages as well, but since there's no effects for this particular card and it's just a common Bakugan, then uh, of course you're just going to get the card itself that has the same name. So uh, nice that we get three copies of this. Now based on its uh, Hex or the thing that it allows to have here, um, the back of cores that it, it's allowed to have, uh, we are given the ones that correspond to the actual back guns character itself. So we have these two, and of course you have different um, effects at the back. Uh, in actual game, uh, we'll be able to choose different ones, so it'll definitely be very nice here. And of course here is Hydrus, uh, this is the Aquas version. Um, we did an opening on the battle pack which allowed us to see the darkest version of it. Uh, but this one is definitely quite nice. Now last time we said we had to push it in like so to actually see the uh, B power. And this one you can see it's just slightly but it is uh, 200 B power. Um, I don't know why they place it like that but overall very nice design. This is just the regular version of Hydrus. so if you guys actually want you could get the others. Oh, just forgot about this but you could pry open the legs here and definitely give it to make a little bit more details here, but if you close them up, make sure you put the legs back in again. Otherwise, you'll end up uh, causing some bit of damage here and potentially break the toy. So yeah, very nice. The details are definitely quite amazing. Um, but of course, uh, we also have the Ultra version of it as well. So that's going to be pretty cool. But uh, that's pretty much it for this whole um, Hydrus themed um, opening here. So I hope you guys actually enjoyed this. I definitely recommend getting these Deluxe Collectors Pack uh, because they're just really amazing. Uh, these single packs aren't something I personally would recommend if you're actually uh, intending to get into the game. I personally would say that the starter packs are the best. But of course, uh, that's my personal recommendation. You get whatever you want, whatever you like. If you like Hydrus here, then feel free to get it. If you like any other Bakuguns in the single packs, get it. It's your choice. Uh, but overall, in terms of value, I would personally just recommend what I just recommended. Uh, but in the meantime, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Tell me what you guys think about all this in the comments down below. I'll see you next time.